How are we going, folks? Who said we've run out of lettuce, hey? I heard the screams out there from far, from far and wide about no more lettuce on the on the shelves or too expensive to pay for them or the garden centers literally don't have enough stock. Well, guess what? I've done a deal with a couple of growers and here we are. We've got these slabs here, 198 plants. Now, you don't have to get all 198 plants, but the difference between these and your typical punnets, which is what I'm going to go through today. And what I'm holding here is a green oak lettuce. And over here... We've got the red oak. Now, mind you, we've got cos, we've got iceberg, we've got endives, curly leaf, we've got radicchios, radicchios, if you like. Whatever you want in seedlings, we can get them like that. Look at the size of these plants. Now, these aren't all growing in the one pot together. This is quality, folks. This is honestly quality. Plugs. See this? You know what I'm calling this? Plug a plant. So you can come along to the garden centre. Only us in Coburg are doing this at the moment. Plug a plant. Pick one, pick ten, pick a hundred. Whatever you want. You can buy them as individuals. Nice and healthy and strong. Now that, let me get another one from here. Here's this one there. Look at that. These are seedlings ready to go in the ground with their own root system. Now the benefit of that is there's no tangling. Yeah, you can tease this out if you like, see that? Put these in the ground and they will take off like wildfire. Now let me compare them to a typical punnet. Now we do carry both, and I'm gonna give you the difference between a punnet of seedlings and a plug seedling, or seedling plug. This is what you find at your garden center. I've taken the label away. We don't wanna hurt anybody or insult anybody. Look at the difference. Okay, there's two, four, six, eight to 10 plants in there. You got one in here that is at least a month older than these plants here, at least. Probably the same age, in fact, but by looking at it, it looks like it's about a month older. Let me just take these out again and show you what's going on underneath. All right, these are young. They haven't pushed on their roots, but that is the lettuce what you'll get at the moment. Probably the biggest at the moment you'll ever find as a punnet, because there's literally nothing around there. I don't know what the big chain stores are doing, but then at the end of the day, I'm not too impressed with the quality of lettuce or seedlings they supply there either. Now they have got some good stuff, but the, the run of the mill stuff is pretty average. Now here, this is commercial grade, folks, grown specifically to tolerate all types of climatic conditions. Big, strong roots, pop them in the ground. And that's what we're doing here today. I'm going to be creative. I'm going to go red, green. This is what you do. You just plug one out, another one. Let's flick another red one here. Let me get these out of the way. Like that. So we start from one corner. And you go to the garden centre, this is in Coburg, our store there, this is what we'll have available for everybody. Um, there is no lettuce punnets or seedlings uh, from your typical grower suppliers for garden centres to have. Maybe whoever's got some in stock at the moment is lucky, but any new orders coming through, they're going to be undersized, underweight and underdeveloped and almost susceptible to die back, especially the cold nights. But like this here, you're gonna find plenty of them. We ain't gonna run out anytime soon either. So if you're competing against a big chain stores as far as big lettuce heads and paying 10 bucks, 12 bucks a head, don't anymore. Start growing your own food. Got some strawberry plants in the way, just gotta get them out of the way later on. But we've got one row. Look at this, you just go along grab them. You don't have to worry about teasing the roots out or worrying about separating because they've all got their own space. That's the benefit. You don't have any dieback. Come over here. Have a look at these ones. These ones are planted a few days ago as a punnet in this tray here. Don't mind the mess around the place. These are the little seedlings. Remember I had to separate them and they're, well, they're worth 20 bucks or 10 bucks when they grow fully. But look at the difference. Look at the quality or size difference. This is what everybody experiences. Now, if the seedlings haven't developed well in the punnets, they're going to be undersized, and if they have, they're going to be all root tangled up. If they're going to grow this big, and you can find these, I'm sure there are punnets out there that are individual cells. I don't know what they're worth, but they're available at the moment, so they're not all just punnets. They've also got the cell ones, single cells or plugs. So look for those ones there. They're by far a better and superior quality of seedling. But here you can buy one or ten or a hundred of them, if you like. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to be a little bit creative. Arty farty, they call it. I'm not colour blind, look at this endive, and we've got endives as well. And let's just put some of this uh, green oak leaf ones in the middle, like that. All you need is a little dibbler like this, or a piece of stick, drop it in, and press the saw lightly around it. Now with these ones, because they've got a strong root system, like that there, once you do the hole and drop it in, you can afford to press down firmly, because you're not going to damage anything. When you're thinking on me doing this, see that, and when I rock it around like that, it does create a bit of a, a sheen on the inside, 
But once you drop it in and you press it down, you're collapsing all that wall, all that saw that you created as a wall. So there, down, and a light press. You don't have to rock it around too much like that, it's just enough to get it in. There you go folks, 16 plants in 30 seconds. Have a look at the size of them already. And look at that, by comparison, this is the other day, about three or four days ago. Yeah, they're going to take a while to catch up to the other ones, but nevertheless, they're still going to grow. So folks, you have the option. You can buy punnets, they're available. Even better, sow your own. Collect the seeds. We've got them on special. We've dropped the price. We've kept them down for the whole weekend. $2 a packet of seeds here, delivered. So get your seed collection. Start building it up and start sowing your own seeds. No matter what variety of vegetables, even flowers for, for at the end of the day, if you love the colours in the garden. Sow your own if you can't get yourself a punnet like this if you like but make sure they're more advanced than that things like that here this size they need to be placed aside where they get plenty of sunlight protection from the wind and the cold so they can grow on a little bit before you separate them otherwise they will go backwards a little bit and we speak about this all the time if you don't know much about it or you need more information you can contact us directly and we'll give you some more advice on separating seedlings by soaking them and things like that or otherwise what we have now made available are the plug a plant seedlings so you can buy individual plugs of each plant that you want the variety at the moment we're doing all the leafy greens because we know there are no seedlings available or very little out there in the retail world. If your local garden centre's got some, fantastic, grab them as much as you can or buy packets of seeds. If they haven't, you can come and visit us down out at Coburg site. We've got plenty on the shelf there for you to be able to plug a plant and enjoy the growing. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. All our seed variety packets are discounted heavily, as is our Black Grit 1.5 kilo refill for two bucks. It's all cheap there. Vasilisgarden.com from me, Vasily Maresi.